Hey y'all, what's good? It's your girl Desiree right back up here with another video for y'all. Okay, y'all, so it is Saturday night. Um, I am I'm doing good, but I'm cold. Um we're finishing up the last bit of some laundry this evening and it's uh 11:30 uh in evening time. Um so when the dryer is going um, because the dryer is in my closet. Well, the washer and dryer in my closet. And um, I don't have my heaters running. So, um, so hopefully it won't take that long and I turn my heater on and warm up. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend. As you guys can see, my hair is braided. Um, I do have a couple more videos that I do need to upload. And I keep saying this, but I'm kind of putting it, putting it off for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I just got that, um, tapestry from Amazon, uh, well, two, two, three days ago. Yes, I did order another one. <laughs> so, um, I am, um, doing the whole new, um, like being furniture by and all this stuff coming up here in like the next two or three weeks. Oh, uh, Ooh. My bad, y'all. I'm trying my best not to y'all do this video. <laughs> okay, y'all. So since I've been back, um, since I've been back home, um, I've been reconnecting with um, a lot of people that I've known before. Um, um, chilling with people that I haven't seen in a couple of years, you know. So, um, let's see. So Friday night, my mom and I, we went to a store called Marlene's. Marlene's is a, um, it's something similar to Whole Foods. Um, it's like a vegan store, but um, it's like a, it's a grocery store. Excuse me, it's a, it's a grocery store. Um, and they also sell food that you can eat. They have a salad bar, um, they sell desserts. Um, so I went there and I had a sandwich. It's a Capri, Caprice sandwich. Um, it's tomatoes, melted cheese, and I think it's pesto, but it could be something else. <laughs> Call something else. I'm not sure, but I have to look it up and I'll let you guys know. Or uh, my next video. Sorry. Okay. So. Um, we, we, we can, we, we, I reconnected with, um, this lady, um, that my mom has known for years and, um, my mom met her, um, it had to be like exactly maybe 20, 15, 20 years ago when we first got up here and my mom, her and my mom, they've been friends like off and on ever since. So, um, she looked at me and she was like, girl, she was like, I was like, yeah, I got, I got a lot of stuff to tell you. Um, I got these and I told her, um, uh, I got these piercings done and, um, I showed her my ears and everything. And then she's like, oh, did you get your clip pierced? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and I was cringing, but my mom was staring at me. Right. And she's like, so what else did you get done? And then I stuck out my tongue. And she was like, yeah, I was going to ask you about that. So my mom knows about my tongue piercing, okay? But um, she was like, so what else did you get done? And I was like, and she's like, for real, you got your nipples pierced? And I was like, yeah. She was like, let me see. So I lifted up my shirt and I showed her my nipples. She was like, oh, okay, girl, okay. So now my mom knows that I got my nipples pierced, y'all. And she, my mom was, my mom was like seriously taken aback. She's like, I cannot believe you got that done. So my mom, um, she went into this whole about 20 minute, I wouldn't call it a lecture, but 20 minute talk, a dis well, discussion about people getting their tongue pierced and people dealing with doing piercings, period, right? So, my mom was saying, excuse me, that Dr. Oz was talking about, um, what there's your son, your tongue is very, very sensitive. It's like the most sensitive part on your body. And she said that, um, oh, 
Oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I cannot stop y'all. I had a drink today too, y'all. I'm gonna tell you about that here in a second. Okay. So she was saying that Dr. Oz said that on your tongue, it's like if a piercer hits the wrong nerve, it can paralyze you from the neck down. And I told my mom, I said, I did a lot, a lot of research on all these piercings that I got. But the one, one, the, I didn't do a lot of research on my tongue piercing because I honestly didn't think it was a big deal. Now, some years ago, a friend of mine got her tongue pierced and she ended up in the hospital, in the ER. And I was just like, okay, like whatever. <laughs> but my, the piercer that I went to, this is why I was like telling you guys about him and how experienced he is. He's licensed i don't know how you get a license but he's like well educated when it comes to piercing so um um i know when you go get your tongue pierced they lift your tongue up to see if there's any veins underneath your tongue and if there's so many veins in the way of your tongue piercing they will not do it um if anything you can do um frog eyes which is a surf a tongue surface piercing or um the snake eyes which a lot of piercers do not do but my piercer does so um i and i get that i really do i understand that and my piercer like before i got my before he pierced my tongue he lifted up my tongue and he was like okay you're good but he was also feeling around my tongue just to make sure that there weren't any hidden veins in the area where he pierced my tongue at so I've had my tongue pierced. Um, it's been over. Um, it's, it's been over a year. So like a year and a half, maybe almost two years. So it was. I think it was. I got my tongue pierced like either it was before or after my grandbaby was born. Oh. I cannot stop yawning. This is crazy. Okay. So anyway. Um, uh, what else was I going to tell y'all? So, a couple of days ago, um, I got um, an alcohol, a alcohol called Bombay. And I was just like, you know what? Get that one. <laughs> so, um, I've never had Bombay before. And when I tell y'all the level of intoxication that I felt, this is the second time I've had a drink. I've had it. It's like, no lie, like, I was very intoxicated. Like, my motor skills were severely bad. Um, I had, I had a drink, I had a drink tonight, and it just, it made me, um, it, it, it had me on another level. <laughs> I, I dropped, I, I had about this much left in a cup. Ugh. And I was going to drink it, okay? I was going to drink it. But I was on my bed, and I was—I just got off the phone with, with somebody. And as soon as I put my right foot down, my right foot kicked the, kicked the cup, and then, like, the rest of the contents fell on the floor. I was a bit disappointed, but I was like, you know what? I don't need no more to drink anyways because I think I overdid it tonight. So I was like, okay, fine. So, um, y'all, my braids are s severely long, but anyway, <laughs> seriously long. So, um, going back to my mom, my mom was like, I cannot believe. So we, we left, we, we left, um, we left from hanging out with my mom's friend and we went to go pick up my daughter from work and my mom was like, I can't believe you got that done. I can't believe you got that done. And she was like, she was like, um, I would never go do that. I could never do it. Y'all, my mom is in her 60s and she's a great grandma. So my mom carries herself with a lot of dignity and a lot of clays. And my mom is very bougie. So <laughs> she's not going, my mom is not going to spend $50 or $100 getting any piercing. My mom has two piercings. In both ear earlobes, and that's it. That's as far as she went. So, between me and my daughter and my son, 
um, we we have the crazy piercings going on. My son has an industrial, um, and he has his nose pierced, and but then my um, second oldest daughter has her septum pierced and her nose pierced, and that's it. Okay, that's it. So my oldest daughter has um, both of her arms like here and here. So like uh, this side of her arm has a Chinese tattoo, and then on this side of her arm has. Um, small elephants so my daughter my oldest daughter has just her ears pierced and then that's it so um when i told her when i told my kids about these piercings they were like mom are you sure you should have did that <laughs> y'all i'm grown but yes i was i was very i was very educated about my piercings before i actually went and did them um i watched a lot of youtube videos i was um Every time I thought about getting a piercing, I was always like, let me find a piercer who knows what he's talking about before I actually go get this done because I want to make sure that um, I know the pros and cons. The only piercing that um, I had a, a lot of issues with was the Ashley. I was, I was seriously doing an experiment with that and I did a video about why I took that out a couple videos back i don't remember which one but it was um like right after vlogmas was done and i gave a lot of reasons why um i didn't keep it in that long because for me um y'all can look at me and tell my lips are already big and i had to start out with a very big uh barbell and i was very uncomfortable with that bell with that barbell being in my lip and um, it just got to the point to where everything I did, I had to be extra careful when I was chewing my food and I was brushing my teeth. Um, I was always, I always, always had to rinse my mouth out with salt water. Um, I used natural, uh, sea salt. So I just got to the point to where, um, I'm, gr I'm greedy sometimes. And like when I chew my food, I bite my lips okay when i was chewing my food when i had the ashley piercing in y'all i was always very cautious about how i was chewing my food because i was always um bumping i was bumping my i was one time i did bite down on it and i was so scared i thought i i cracked my tooth but it it didn't crack so you gotta be extra careful when it comes to your piercings um i seen ashley piercings I mean, actually, I'm talking, I've seen smiley piercings, the one that they do that skin that's right underneath your lip, like right above your gums. I will never get that. There is too many issues with that particular piercing, but um, I do not have my clip pierced. <laughs> I, I'm not going to do that. I will not do that. And there's a lot of people who have asked me when I ever do it. I will never do that. Even as an experiment, even as a try it, I will never have that experience. So um anyways y'all um um i still have um uh, a lot more stuff to buy for my apartment and i'm hoping that i can be able to do everything um the beginning of march when my money comes back in i'm so hoping that i can be able to get my furniture get the rest of the stuff that i want to get for my room and the bathroom and the kitchen and the living room which i'm pretty sure i will be able to do um i did an order with amazon um two days ago and some stuff was supposed to be here today and it was not here and that made me mad <laughs> so i'm hoping everything comes in tomorrow um i got some other stuff coming in the mail which i'm very 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 excited about and as soon as i get it i'm going to do an unboxing um that is going to be a very special video so i need to make sure that i upload for y'all um i'm hoping that that package well, I don't know. It could be here Monday, but like at the latest Tuesday. So as soon as I get it, um, I'm pretty sure they'll drop it to the door because it cannot fit in my mailbox. So I'm hoping it's brought to the door. Um, but I'm doing, yeah, I'm not going to go into it right now, but it is a very special um, order with what's coming. 
uh let's see what else is going on um i've been spending a lot of time with my grandbaby and i've been seeing my son a lot which i'm very very thankful for that because um even though my son drives he does he did not like driving up to the other city that i lived in which was almost an hour away y'all and but i'm happy he can drop by any minute and he like hey mom I'm like hey <laughs> So I'm really happy about that. I'm glad I'm closer to my mom um, and my oldest daughter now. Um, I'm trying my best to start going back to church and um, really get back into the faith and my faith and everything. Um, um, and doing what, you know, what the Lord says to do. So y'all just make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Um, I am going to be... Um, taking my braids out soon. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I got a lot of growth going on. Um, my hair is actually itching. I have not put any oils in my hair because you guys know I'm all about hair oil. I have not put nothing in my hair um, since I got my hair braided because if I did put the oil in my hair, y'all, these braids will only last me probably a couple days. And my daughter, my oldest daughter did it for me and I wanted it to last. That's why um, there's no product in my hair, nothing. There's nothing in my hair right now at all. So, but, uh, ooh, ooh. it never fails. It never fails. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, when I get, when I finish furnishing my apartment, I'm going to have a very, I'm going to have a nice, um, housewarming uh party uh, we're gonna do a wine tasting party here in my apartment well my daughter and i's apartment and it's gonna be on point i'm not gonna record but i will come back i will do a video of before and an after and i'll let you guys know um what we're planning and then i'll let you guys know after after the party <laughs> We gonna turn up. We gonna get toe, not toe up, but we gonna turn up, okay? Cause this this is a big this is a big deal for my daughter and I. Um, like I said, it you know, um, I'm gonna there's gonna be a lot of people here, so I'm gonna let you guys know about that um, coming up soon. Um, another thing is too, I'm going to a funeral on the 23rd. Um, I'm really not looking forward to that, but I have to go and pay my respects to to this person that actually meant a lot to me. So, and I got my um, annual women's employment coming up too. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know about that. And I'm not looking forward to that either. But anyways, y'all, I will talk to you guys later. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you turn on your post notifications. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a blessed weekend.